What's up, Bram? Stay tuned for today's announcements. Good morning, Highland. I'm Brayden, and this is Carly. Please join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You now may now be seated. What's up, Highland? I'm Sean Ratzlaff. And I'm Krista Vasquez. I'm Dylan. And I'm Jared. <laughs> the first part of Ram TV is the announcements, and then comes the fun afterwards. Yeah. Spring Casual is coming up soon. Tickets are $25 if you buy them early in the Bursar's office. It will be March 11th, and the theme is Wild West. Get some friends together and have a good old time. Here's an update on Make-A-Wish events from student government. Highland Idol shows start next 7th, and they go through the 9th. There's a, t there's a night show this March 10th, and the assembly is March the 13th. The cheerleaders have their Superstars Showcase in the main gym Thursday, March 9th at 6.30 p.m. This is for the seniors, cheerleaders, graduation, and features many other groups who will perform. It's fun and free with your activity card. Jerry, you're going to be performing in that cheerleader showcase, right? Sure, why not? Let's do I it. I am too. Band Spring Concert is March 16th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. It will be streamed live on Ram TV. Congratulations to Madison Kometz, Dawson Boyer, Henry Snell, and Ryan Henderson for winning prizes in Pocatello's Invitational High School Art Show. I'm proud of you. Stay very proud. Here's Noble with Carnival announcement. Hey, this is Mr. Noble coming live at you. I have an announcement, an important announcement for you. Um, on March 16th, there will be a carnival held here at Highland High School in the main gym. All proceeds will go to Special Olympics. The Lassies competition is in ISU Reed's gym on Saturday around noon. You guys will be doing that too, right? Yeah, yep. absolutely. Totally. And now here's today's lunch. Hey guys, what's up? We're here to tell you what's for lunch today. It's Tuesday, so today we have pizza or chicken burger with chips. And in the main line, we've got kebabs over rice with stuffed breadsticks. Or you could have a salad bar. It's your choice. Stay healthy. Today's lunch meetings are... <laughs> Sand shop and B69. <laughs> Photography is in C44. Intramural sports are in the lower gym. And now for some fun. I'm Tanner, and if you have not come down to the Palace Playhouse yet, we are still showing See How They Run. So come see See How They Run. It is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, so please contact the box office. I hope to see you there. Dylan will be there. I will too. <laughs> Sergeant Trevor follows with the Idaho National Guard, visited Highland, and gave Ram TV some MREs, or meals ready to eat to try. So let's check that out. Hey, I'm Staff Sergeant Peterson with the Idaho National Guard, and today we're at Highland High School with some of the RAM TV students, as well as Sergeant First Class Fallows, and we're here today to teach you how to eat an MRE, how to warm it up, and how delicious they are. So let's get started. So we have our meal ready to eat. Uh, what's exciting about these MREs is they're 100% free range, fair trade, equal opportunity, all organic, non-GMO, locally sourced. They're great for preservatives and <coughs> beefing you up with calories. Minus all that first part, they're basically just a huge calorie intake. So how we're gonna eat these is we have a peelable seal that we're gonna peel open. What's fun about MREs is sometimes you don't always get your MRE of choice. For example, I have beef ravioli and meat sauce. What is yours? Mine is Mexican style chicken stew. And what did you get? Chicken pesto pasta. Chicken <laughs> pesto. I can uh, pork and pork sausage and cream Jared gravy. Can't even pork sausage <laughs> and cream gravy. Got it. Oh my. This is being difficult. 
And what did you all get over here? Uh, I got a Southwest beef and black beans. Scissors down. Scissors. Stat. And what did you guys get? I got a lemon pepper tuna. It's lemon pepper tuna. Oh my gosh, you get it. I got a beef patty and jalapeno pepper. Beef patty, super legit. You're going to enjoy that. So let's say you got an MRE that you didn't necessarily want and one of your buddies has something a little more exciting. You guys can trade back and forth like you got Reese's Pieces yeah. and I think I want to trade you my spoon for your Reese's Pieces. No. Okay. <laughs> I tried. Go for Joe. Go for Joe. Go for Joe. My cheese spread. Cheese spread. What is this? Scissors. Uh, something that you want to do kind of first and foremost is um, your entree is much more enjoyable if it's warm. Get your heater, your MRE heater. Don't eat it. It's got two different uh, areas you can tear it off. You can tear it off at the top, which I typically do. Tear it off at the top right there. Open that bad boy up. And then you'll put your entree in there. Actually, I'm sorry, take your entree out of the sleeve. It's my first time. <laughs> <laughs> I just seen this on YouTube, so I thought it was a good idea. <laughs> so put your entree in there, and then you'll add some water, and there's a, a chemical reaction in there that'll start to heat and smoke, and it smells a little funky. But we'll be all right. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. All right, who's ready for their heater? Okay, I'm going to show you what to do. You're going to fill it up with water. Do not overfill above that line. And then my favorite part on this is it says, once it's full, you put it up against a rock or something. Or something. So put it up against a rock or something. Pour just a little bit of water in there. Oh, yeah. Do I get hot chocolate or something? Like, what is this? And then you'll want to get that bad boy nice and tight. Put it up against a rock or something. Don't put it over the line, Jared. <laughs> oh, you're fine. Oh, you're good, Jared. I'm a genius. No, you're good. <laughs> Just fold it over, put it up against a rock or something. <laughs> Pass it on down. Well, you got that mustard for your hamburger patty, didn't you? I, I got cheese spread. I got mango <laughs> peach apple sauce. Same. Yes. I'm going to put it down so all that water absorbs that. Uh, I think I got Sam, the mess. Yeah, it smells good. A nice organic smell. <laughs> yeah, come on. Burning plastic. A nice organic yeah. chemical <laughs> smell. It does smell like burning plastic. <laughs> <laughs> nice organic. Good. It's going to get super hot and delicious. Cheese spread. So, in the meantime, maybe you want to uh, trade your Reese's Pieces with me for my cranberries? I have, um, like a chocolate dairy powder. Chocolate dairy powder. What about a I like powder. It's a vanilla powder. powder. Yep. Like powder. So, your yeah, dairy extra. powder, you can rip the top off, pour some water in, fold it, shake it up. Okay. Shake it like a salt shaker. <laughs> those are the best corn nuts. Why don't, uh, Haley, why don't you pass those around to them? To oh. the audience, so they can experience some. That makes so much more sense. <laughs> hey, who wants to trade smoked almonds? Or so toasted mm. corn nuts. I'm just gonna fill this. Corn, corn nuts. Okay, yeah, I have, have a chocolate. I have granola. You want my granola? Hey. I got some cranberries. I'll trade you. Warm. So here's some cranberries. If you want to pass those around to our audience, and they can experience some <laughs> yummy cranberries. Now let's try and drink it. I know you want some. Yeah. That is the truth. <laughs> Why can't I open this? If you have cheese spread or peanut butter, you want to make sure you knead that up really good before you open it. Hey, who wants some lemonade? Bailey, you should zoom it on Colby. Bailey. Be in little Cinderella over here. What do you gals got back there? What is that? Brownie? Muffin top. Muffin top. It's just basically. Dude, this smells good. Crackers. What do I do this? So the turkey nuggets are basically just turkey here. Yeah, they're just turkey. Turkey, turkey. Oh, cool. So you'll want to make sure you drink a lot of water after you eat this, because like I said, it's packed full of preservatives. It's, you know, it has the potential to bind you up. And, and every pack, every MRE comes with like a condiment pack with a moist towelette, salt, creamer, Splenda. Yep, exactly. Uh, instant coffee, if you're into that. Pepper sauce, 
Sometimes you'll hear this uh, like referred to as camouflage. Put some camouflage on your meal to make it taste a little better. And then, of course, my personal favorite, uh, a little square of tissue paper to help you throughout your day. What did you guys get over there? Did you guys get cheese or anything? I, don't, uh, I just got cheeses, like a cheese kind of cracker thing. Oh, yeah. What do they call them? Uh, Fake snack. Oh, dude, these okay. cookies. How do I do snow, what do I do with These cookies yeah. have flags. Look at this. Nice. That is just nice America. And they're called patriotic cookies, so you know they're good. These pretzels are pretty good. They taste good. They are good. Like yeah, are those like combos, right? This is for your feet. What are MREs all about? MREs are good for while you're out in the field training. It's really good for uh, long-term operations when you're not going to be around like a base or any resources or something like that where you could get some logistic support so they're they're crammed yes. full of calories so for example this beef ravioli and meat sauce has 260 calories in it, and that's just a single serving item and then uh, in addition to that your cheese and bacon spread for example has 150 calories so it's packed jam full of calories it's designed to be lightweight easy to access easy to pack easy to carry and give you the calories that you need to sustain for whatever you're doing, whatever training you have, wherever you're at for remote operations, etc. You sure have seen them progress over over time. I've been in um, the Idaho National Guard for approximately 12 years, and from day one, I, I've seen a big improvement from menu items to like this this tuna one, for example. Like it's a star kiss tuna. Uh, the <laughs> the beef stew is pretty significantly improved from what it used to be. Eat your entree should be heated up now. How does one remove this without getting burned? Uh, very carefully. You can rip it again down at the bottom. Peel that off right there. It's probably not penny yet. Then you can slide it down. So a normal soldier in the field would get approximately two to three of these a day to sustain them for a whole day's operation. Yeah, that's oh, going to smoke for a bit. <laughs> and then once you got your main entree, just give it a good little shake, sort of knead it up, mix it up a little bit. How's that beef patty? Probably the best you've ever had. I would have to open So then your entree has little slits in it right there on the side. You can just grab it and peel open like so. Mine didn't quite like open so. as easily as that. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I had like, Ooh, my good. cake open. And then you take oh your spoon. Gosh. Chicken pesto. Like Looks so. Delicious. Like delicious. so. Just, just open it <laughs> like so. Oh, hey, I There's, did that. Yeah, see? It smells yeah. good. Yeah. It smells really good. I mean, I wish you guys could smell this, but... <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, what's this stuff? So I personally am going to uh, put a little pepper sauce in mine. Just church it up a little bit. Oh, that is amazing. <laughs> that is really good, actually. It's healthy. It's healthy. It's healthy. Well, totally. Yeah. Probably it's like not Chef Warrior V, huh? Somebody. It's not bad. You know, the so way that my family fights. The best thing to do is to stockpile these yeah. and never go to McDonald's again. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're super easy, they're fun. A lot of calories, and like I said, you get the average soldier would get about two to three of these a day, depending on what their mission was or what they were doing. So I'm gonna knead up some of this cheese spread with Mine bacon. Mine actually looks like scum. Does anybody not like bacon in here? Who does not like bacon? Anybody? People who aren't patriotic. People who People aren't who are vegetarian. <laughs> yeah. People who have like very only the Canadians. You know that uh, can of cheese spray that you can get? That's what this one is. Yeah. Do you drink this? Okay. I really don't like the cheese. No. I don't know where you want it. Wait. Wait. Have any more of those? I don't know. Skin. Yeah. Something else that's kind of fun about MREs, like while you're deployed or while you're out in the field or whatever. Um, you can send postcards home off of your MRE. Like you can rip that open and write a little message to you know your family or loved ones, and then you know take it to the post office and put a stamp on it and send it home. And that's kind of fun for your family to get from you, your soldier that's you know training or overseas, and they get this MRE postcard and they're like, "What is this?" And they're like, yeah, "That's my MRE. I send it on a postcard." I've done that a couple times. It's fun. Put a bullet hole through it. 
Or put Still a bowl alive. in the room. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a boss. It might as well. Oh, maybe if you turn it to the side. <laughs> yeah, that's not the thing. Maybe well, if you turn great. it to the side. Yeah, yeah. it tastes amazing. Elena, don't do what I did. If you're interested in, in a military experience or if you think that this might be a career for you, uh, you can get with myself or Sergeant Peterson after this. My number is right down here. You can hit us up on InstaSlam or Facebook. And uh, that's what I call it. InstaSlam, that works. InstaSlam. I like it more than the original. InstaSlam, face page, face crack, whatever. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Those were really good. Yeah. Now for the random thought of the day. All right, ladies and gentlemen of Highland, did you know the average high schooler will eat around 2,500 peanut butter and jelly sandwiches before they end high school? Oh my gosh, what the, what is going on? Now for the decade thought of the day. I just got 100 free hours of America online. You guys won't be using the phone. Thanks, James, for that. That was that, like totally retro. Um. You know, we're about, what, 30 years past that by now. Anyway, thanks, James, for that. Remember to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please share us in, our social, in your social media. If you have any announcements for Ram TV, please email, them, email us at highlandramtv at gmail.com. Thanks for doing the Ram Tube thing. I'm Sean Ratzlaff. And I'm Krista Vasquez. I'm Dylan. I'm Jerry. <laughs> Have a great weekend, Island. Woo! This sucker is terrible. Can you?